Finally comes a time where you can express your emotions with the music. And this brings you such a pleasure. snack. Stop coughing everybody. Yeah? It's only a bit of chilli. dish I grew up on, tail of the ox, obviously hence why it's called oxtail. It does a lot of work, so it's a long cook. Back in the day when times were a bit harder, peasants were given all the offcuts. Oxtail was one of them. You'd start, you'd go to work, put it on, come back home. And it's just really, really rich. Really, I mean we sell it as beef stew, because if you told people it's oxtail, they don't want to eat it. Enjoy. Let's serve it up. And what does it taste like? Oh, does it, does it stop like a lot more? Sex. <laughs> no, seriously, it's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you just obviously keep, keep it on the bone splits. Like, so that is probably part, partly cartilage and some sort of marrow rubbish in the middle, but then the bone comes through it, through the actual meat itself, and you just eat around that. Like what we do is you get carrots, onions, garlic, ginger, whatever. It's just like one pot dish with any stuff you've got around, and the great thing about the vegetables you add to it, it just absorbs all the flavour of the meat itself. A little bit of oil in the pan. Although you don't need too much, that's probably too much, um, simply because of the amount of fat you actually get around the oxtail itself. So a quick season. So here I've got a blend of spices that we make up ourselves. Uh, cayenne, sometimes paprika, onion powder, pimento seeds. If you like, a lot of people use things from recipes that they don't particularly like. I don't see how it makes sense. So what we've got here is obviously the oxtail. The black liquid I poured in is that mysterious thing called soy sauce. Um, Where's that from, Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I made that. I made that earlier on. <laughs> so it gives, it gives colour, gives flavour. I added a touch of salt, but I use soy sauce in a lot of my cooking. So you get a really, really hot pan, like anything that you're going to do, you have it um, sealing off. Obviously, you, you seal meat off or fish. The idea behind it is to seal in as much flavour as possible, colour it up, and so when you then start to uh, raise it later on, that colour comes off the meat, goes into the sauce, also flavours the sauce. Yeah. It caramelises really, really quickly, so you need to be careful. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so what I do, quick seal, and then I continue that until all the oxtail has been done into a, into a braising pan. People get a bit a lot, really, really carried away with, you need stock for this and stock for that, and stocks are really, really good. When you actually got bones in your meat, it's just big tongs, yeah. Big man, big tongs. <laughs> yeah, Edward Scissorhands had lent me these ones. So yeah, when you've got lots of bones in your meat itself, water is there's nothing wrong with water whatsoever. So I tend to just go with a little bit more oil in there, and then just the same process again. Meat in, get it sealed off. In terms of serving it, you know, you can serve it with whatever. You could go mash, you could go garlic mash, olive mash, sweet potato, you can go rice, rice and peas, white rice, anything you fancy. You could do oxtail soup, which is almost the same process, where you add beans. We've got crystal beans here, Edo's, scotch bonnet, you drop a bit of all those sort of things in there. Or you could add all those vegetables and then serve it on rice as well. It depends on how greedy you are. I like a bit of spice, but I think things should be cooked Moderately. It is difficult, especially cooking for other people. People come up, oh, I don't like spice. And it's really, really funny. You know, people come to our store, for instance, and as soon as you see anything soul food or anything Caribbean, it's like, oh my God, oh, we're going to die. It's like, it's not hot. It's, like, it's yeah. not hot at all. Please, believe, believe me, they don't, they don't believe you. They actually do not believe that it's not hot, but anyway. Okay, so once all your meat's sealed off, it's, it's up to you really what you like what you what you'd like to add. I mean I have a uh, ginger, we washed it really, really well. Um, ginger, garlic, thyme, I mean turmeric, anything, just to uh, flavour, flavour, flavour. Um, on a grater, scrub it well, but I always tend to keep the skins on. They are edible. Uh, really, really fiery. I think the flavour, obviously ginger is, is strong anyway, yeah. but um, the skins are, are Amazing, really is, and the, uh, the aroma and the fragrance you get from them. And I think when you're cooking something like oxtail, it needs to be something really strong and bold anyway. 
but something like a dish like this, I just throw the, the whole pieces of thyme in and as it cooks, all the leaves drop off and then when you finish, fish it out. So it's quite good, there's no finesse at all to this. I like to add some spice at the beginning and then during the process, sort of, you sort of like refresh the dish towards the end when it's cooking. If it needs a little lift, then uh, add a bit more to it and stuff, so it's quite nice. Um, again, some we use onions, shallots. We we're going to start crying in a minute. <laughs> well, if you want to. <laughs> no, if, if you want to, you just feel free. And then it's just a case of just uh, cutting your onion up. I'm just going to give those a little, a little fry off just to get them started. You can sweat your um, garlic and ginger at the same time, but I don't on this particular dish. I just like that rawness of them. You're getting pretty rough. I really need a little time. Like this is this is the this is the ultimate one pot dish. So basically, it's a case of bringing that to the boil, lid on, and then just leaving it to simmer on its own. And then just keep an eye on it. You might need to top it up with water every now and again. And that'll be it. And then later on during the cooking process, we might add a few more. We might add the, 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 the Christophine or a few other bits and bobs to it. Uh, scotch bonnet, I will drop in. Christophine, it's a vegetable. It's known as chocho, shayot, and uh, Christophine. They're the three names that I know. It really doesn't taste of anything. It's just, um, it's just a, it's just one of those vegetables that you put in, in it's normally put into, st into stews. So it I like to use it in coleslaw or like a, as oh, a yeah, remoulade. Like fresh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's one of those sort of dishes. It's really, really good like that. But it has got a like, real flavour of its own and it adds to whatever you add it to, you get it in soup or a stew and it takes on the flavour of that dish. Oxtail's been on for about two hours now. You can look how much darker and richer it is. It smells really, really good. Uh, meat's just falling off the bone, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to whip it all out now, um, put it into a separate bowl, and I'm going to take the sauce down and uh, add it back in. Okay guys, a nice little snack for you. I don't like eating my own food, you know what I mean? You'll find out why later. <laughs> no, exactly, I did, I did warn you, I did warn you. Yeah, he's definitely not shy, is he? No. Can you do yours? <laughs> no, man. I'll start all of you. Yeah, I think you're going to need more than three, that's it. Wow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking about who was the first person who learned to milk a cow. Who decided? <laughs> I think we should drink that. No, seriously. No, no, no. Hundred yeah, yeah, percent. Exactly. Genuinely, like, yeah. One hundred percent. You just think <laughs> who, who did that it? White liquid coming out of yeah. the animal. And I how did you try that? And how did it catch on without Google? <laughs> yeah. Just, um, it's just, it's just peasant food you got. You know, we were so poor. So poor down in the south. <laughs> we're so you, poor you in the, the south. <laughs> taken many steps and many man hours to get here.